Okay, so we got the Ace of Cups, Leo, for your first card. We got the Page of Cups. And then we got the Page of Swords. Okay, Leo, I feel like there is somebody that is getting ready to come back around, Leo. Whoever this is, this is somebody that wants to start over with you, Leo. Um, some of you guys, this could be a new love interest, um, but I am getting this energy. If this is a new love, this person caught feelings for you, Leo, and they're getting ready to let it be known that they caught feelings for you. Some of you guys, this could be a younger person that you be, could be dealing with but I feel like whoever this is Leo I feel like you are I feel like this person is just wondering what you would think like what would you say if they do um tell you how they really feel whether that is true or not that they love you but they want to know if if you feel the same and I don't know why I'm getting half truths with this energy but we're gonna we're gonna dive a little bit deeper and, and clarify because I need to know some of y'all's person is just only doing it to be curious to see how you feel see if you're gonna be um you gonna open up also because they and they feeling so they feel like I don't know why it's like a 50 50 but I don't know we're gonna see what else spirit we definitely gonna see these ain't even the cards. I keep doing that. Well, this is a new love or somebody coming back. But mm, it's something that this person ain't telling you. That's probably what it is. Even though they do got feelings for you, yo. It's something that they ain't telling you. We got the King of Cups. Maybe you have the same, maybe you feel the same way about them or they feel the same way about you. Roles can definitely be reversed. But one person, I really do feel like one person ain't saying nothing, but the other person is. It's like they could be holding back how they really feel. While the other person is able to express how they really feel. And while, you know, they, they looking to see if, you know, they, the other person feels the same way. We got the Eight of Pentacles reversed. Yeah, it's like they're not even trying to prove themselves that they really love the other person. It's like they rather keep it to themselves than, than take any course of um action. You see what I'm saying? But it's like they're not giving the other person... It's like the other person is okay with opening up, but the other person that's waiting for them to say something, it's like they don't want them to know anything. They're not showing them anything about how they really feel. They'd rather keep it to themselves. We got the five of swords reversed. Yeah, because they don't want to feel like the other person has control over them. That's exactly what I'm saying. The reason why somebody chooses not to say how they really feel and not even like put the effort in into opening up to the other person is because they don't want the other person to have the upper hand. That's exactly why. why meanwhile, the, the younger person waiting for this person to say something because they already spoke how they felt, but the other person refuses to, to open up. They refuse to show it. They refuse to show it. Just, just because they don't want the other person to have that, you know, feel like they, they got the upper hand. They have control over them and their emotions. But what else, Spirit? I am getting that energy for some of y'all. That could be the case. It's either you could be in this energy being closed off and not telling this person or, you know, anything or putting the work in physically. Or it could be them. Maybe you told them how you feel. And you're just waiting for an answer to tell for them to say if they feel the same. You know, but... We're going to see. Yep. Somebody don't want to be responsible for um, wow. They don't want to open up emotionally because they don't want to tell you how they really feel, Leo. 
is because, or put the effort in once again, is because for one, they don't want any responsibility of, um, of being vulnerable. You see what I'm saying? They don't want to open up. They don't want to, they, they're afraid of being vulnerable, Leo. So it's like, they choose not to put the work in. They choose not to give you anything. For an example, maybe um, take you out for a date or take you somewhere or something like that, right? They refuse to do all of that because they don't want you to make it seem like they, you know, they got the upper hand. I mean, you got the upper hand of this whole situation. They're afraid of losing control of their emotions, Leo. So they choose to stay closed off. Meanwhile, you over here in your feelings, right? They purposely being cold right now. You know, watching you, you know, in your feelings about them, explaining yourself, but it's like somebody is like purposely holding back because they don't want to feel like the other person got them. They don't want to feel that way. What else? afraid to be vulnerable you know? they're afraid to be vulnerable it's like they see you in your feelings but at the same time you know they they just don't want to be responsible for somebody else's emotions you see what i'm saying they don't want they don't want to sit next to you and look you know what i'm saying and be sitting there crying with you and being vulnerable and discussing vulnerable things you know what i'm saying stuff like that that's the energy that i'm picking up on but listen even though they cold, their heart is wide open. Somebody's heart is wide open. Like, literally. Four of Pentacles reversed. And then we got the Judgment card. I feel like you really do, like... It's like, Leo, the more you don't put... I don't know what side you on, but it's like... The more work you don't put in this connection with this person, the more they express themselves. You see what I'm saying? Because we got the sun card. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Leo. It don't have to be. But I am getting that energy. It's like the more somebody sit back and just observe everything, the more the other person is giving. Like far as, you know, being vulnerable and opening it up and expressing to them. That's the energy that I'm picking up on. But I ain't even going to lie. Somebody is making somebody feel insecure. Well, I don't know what side, but the person that's in their feelings about the other person, they kind of feel in insecure because the other person is just not making them feel like it's safe to open up. Because they being so cold. You see what I'm saying? Or they could be being judgmental. Somebody being judgmental, that's why. Because like I said, it's like the more somebody open up, I mean, the more somebody hold back and not put the work in this relationship or situation, the more the other person be vulnerable and open up and express themselves, which is leaving the person that's in their feelings uncomfortable because they feel like the other person is judging them. You know what I'm saying? They feel like it's not a safe spot to be expressing themselves with this other person because how cold that they are. Some of y'all doing this to this person. Y'all making this person feel uncomfortable. Y'all making this person feel insecure. Or, or they're making you feel uncomfortable and insecure. Because somebody is just sitting there like watching them. Like observing them and not saying anything. It's because somebody once again don't want to open up. They don't want to feel like the other person got the upper hand. That's what I keep getting. Yeah, somebody is making the other person feel very uncomfortable. You know what? I'm gonna wait the four leaves. I'm gonna pull these again and see what else. Clear intuitive messages, please.
Six of Cups. Yeah, somebody feel like they could be having um a bad experience with them right now. Some of y'all, if you the one that's like being closed off and observing everything about this person, whether you the Leo or the cross watcher, I feel like you could be observing because of the bad experience that happened to you in the past. You see what I'm saying? That could be the reason why you so closed off is because of what happened to you in the past. You know what I'm saying? Maybe in the past you did open up to somebody too early and they just showed you, they gave you a reason you know, why you shouldn't have had done. They made you feel insecure. You know what I'm saying? But, like I said, take what sides are along. But I'm giving you an example. But the person that's observing and judging, it has something to do with their past. It really does. Something from the past. But, wow. Maybe somebody could be being like this because they missed the past. But um, let me clarify one more time, because it's either or they miss in the past, or they just could be in love with the person that's expressing themselves, but they choose to stay closed off. You know what I'm saying? And at the same time, they having a hard time letting go of their past trauma. You see what I'm saying? It could be that, but we're going to see. Knight of Swords. Yeah, somebody feels like they had a bad experience with somebody that they walked away from in the past. And even though they may have feelings for, maybe you do have feelings for them or I feel like it's mutual. Some of y'all, it could be mutual. The rest of y'all, it's just that, I'm, I'm going to say that part. But if it is mutual between you and this person that is being expressive towards the other person, I feel like you just don't want to mess it up. You see what I'm saying? You just don't want to have any, um, you don't want to, even though you're judging this person, observing this person, you feel like if you say something, maybe you feel like something is going to go wrong. If you say something wrong. It's because somebody knows that the other person do love them. But they know if they be judgmental or say something wrong to the person, which could come off harsh, that, you know, the other person not want to, is not going to talk to them no more. So it's either that somebody is being this way because they don't want to mess it up. They don't want the other person to leave them. Or it could just be that they could be thinking about a, um, a bad experience that they had with a, a love interest that they once did love you know, had in their life, and um, that walked away from them, that ran away from them, I really do feel like somebody is traumatized by the past, either way, because I feel like this person could be traumatized by an ex leaving them, and now they could be like, thinking that you could be doing the same thing to them, or this could be vice versa, or they just don't want to be, they don't want to say something so wrong, they don't want to say something and mess it up, basically. You know what I'm saying? Either way, it has something to do with the with some form of trauma. You see what I'm saying? They're afraid of actually you getting away from them, Leo. Like if they say something to you, Leo, they feel like they that they're gonna mess it up and you're gonna run away from them. You see what I'm saying? And um, that's why they they choose to be cold or distant about opening up communication about how they really feel about you because they're afraid of you running away from them. Because I really do feel like. They do, y'all, I feel like the feelings could be mutual, but somebody is just afraid of opening up, and if they do, they just feel like they're going to get ghosted. You see what I'm saying? That's what I'm really feeling. Somebody is choosing to stay closed off and just observe the other person because they don't want to mess things up, and they don't want to get ghosted if they, if the, if, if the other person is, is willing to open up and actually be vulnerable with them if they give them a shot. You see what I'm saying? But this has something to do with somebody being traumatized by the past because somebody is just not really feeling like it's safe to open up to the other person. Although the, uh, the person is opening up and being vulnerable, the other person is like uncomfortable. You know, they're playing it safe right now, basically, because of a um, traumatic experience that happened to them in the past where somebody, you know, cut them off and stopped talking to them. They may basically ran away from them. 
But yeah, this is somebody that's in the cut with 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 it, basically. But we're gonna see. Wow, this person is the divine masculine or the divine feminine. Winter. Some of y'all could be meeting this person in the winter time. Some of y'all gonna end up meeting this person in the winter time. Some of y'all, this could be somebody that is coming back around. Because like I said from the beginning, some of y'all, this is a new love. The rest of you guys is somebody familiar. But when they come back, you may be closed off, Leo. You may be, you may have changed. And even though you may love this person, Leo, if this is a past person that's coming back, you may not be too open like you used to because they ran away from you. You see what I'm saying? Whether this is old or new, y'all... Y'all be able to tell. But a divine masculine is popping back up in the winter time. But I feel like somebody going to end up ghosting the other person. Anyways. Because they're afraid. After what somebody has done to them. Y'all about to get an unexpected message. Most of y'all, I feel like it's saying that y'all got a divine masculine coming back in the winter time. And it's going to happen out of the blue. Some of y'all could be trying to protect yourself. Some of y'all gonna probably need more protection for some of you guys, not everybody. But let me pull a random card for you guys. It don't have to resonate. You can just leave it out if it don't resonate. Full moon. So some of you guys, this could be happening around a full moon. But I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up right here and y'all take care.